the Boeing Vertor XCH-62, also known as Model 301, was an ambitious heavy-lift helicopter project designed by Boeing Vertor for the United States Army. Approved in 1971, the XCH-62 aimed to significantly advance the capabilities of military rotorcraft, rivaling and surpassing the heavy lift helicopters developed by the Soviet Union. Despite its promising design and near completion, the project was cancelled in 1975, and the prototype was ultimately scrapped in 2005. The XCH-62 was envisioned as a massive helicopter incorporating design elements reminiscent of Boeing's C-9 and Chinook helicopters, but scaled to about twice the size of the Chinook. Following an Army contract awarded in 1973, Boeing moved forward with the development of this oversized flying crane machine. The XCH-62 featured a tandem rotor configuration with each rotor equipped with four blades. The rotor diameter was an impressive 28 meters. The helicopter's fuselage length was 27.20 meters with an overall footprint length of 49.45 meters. It was designed to lift a standard Department of Defense mirror van container weighing up to 22.4 short tons. The widely spaced landing gear allowed the helicopter to straddle heavy cargoes such as armor vehicles while carrying 12 troops in a slender fuselage. Powered by three Allison XT701 AD700 turboshafts developed from Allison's 501M62B engines. Each engine produced 1079 horsepower static sea level power. The XCH62 was designed to achieve a maximum speed of 145 knots with an excellent load, a combat range of 150 nautical miles, and a ferry range of 1500 nautical miles. Notably, the XCH-62 was to be the first helicopter with a fly-by-wire flight control system without a mechanical backup. By 1975, the XCH-62 prototype was 95% complete with plans for an initial flight set for 1976. The prototype required only about three more months of final assembly and checkouts before rolling out and installation for pre-flight testing. However, on August 1st, 1975, the program was officially cancelled. Several factors contributed to the project's cancellation. The 1970s were a period of significant financial strain for the United States, marked by economic changes such as the 1973 oil crisis, defense budgets were tightened, and cost overruns were a constant concern. The XCH-62, being an expensive and ambitious project, fell victim to these budgetary pressures. As military strategies and priorities evolved, the need for a helicopter with the capabilities of the XCH-62 was reassessed. Advances in other areas of military technology and changing tactical doctrines reduced the perceived necessity of such a heavy lift helicopter. The XCH-62 was a pioneering design, particularly with its fly-by-wire flight control system. While innovative, the technological challenges and risks associated with such a novel system 
likely contributed to the decision to cancel the project. Developmental delays and technical difficulties further compounded these issues. The termination of the XC-862 left a gap in the development of heavy lift helicopters in the United States, while the CH-47 Chinook continued to serve as a reliable workhorse. The capabilities envisioned for the XCH-62 remain unmet for decades. It wasn't until the introduction of newer models and advancements in rotorcraft technology that some of these capabilities began to be realized. The design concepts and technological innovations of the XCH-62 particularly its fly-by-wire flight control system, influenced subsequent helicopter designs. The lessons learned from the XCH-62 project contributed to advancements in rotorcraft engineering and paved the way for future developments in heavy-lift helicopters and fly-by-wire technology. The cancellation of the XCH-62 highlighted the challenges of military procurement, especially for highly ambitious and technologically advanced projects. It underscored the importance of balancing innovation with practically and the need for thorough risk assessment and management in defense projects. In conclusion, the Boeing Vertor XCH-62 was a remarkable endeavor in the realm of heavy lift helicopters, embodying bold design and innovative technology. Although it never took to the skies, the XCH-62 project left an indelible mark on the history of military aviation, influencing future designs and shaping the development of rotorcraft technology. His story serves as a reminder of the complexities and challenges inherent in pushing the boundaries of aerospace engineering.